I'll start with our review for this book, Woke Racism. I'm going to give this book 4 out of 5. Very definitely interesting and important book for our time. It touches very important subject, in my opinion. Uh, very, very good writer, generally speaking. Straight to the point. Very sharp. Doesn't... He didn't save any words criticizing the movement, the woke. I think, again, it was important, some more than others. Uh, the only reason it's not a five, because I think he didn't fully, he was on full uh, attack mode, but not all of the attacks were fully on spot. So there are some straw manning, but a little bit, nothing too crazy overall. Uh, I would re I highly recommend. Let's see the notes. This third wave anti-racism is like a religion that prosecute those who oppose them. So he, that's the main idea of the book, I would say, is making the comparison to the woke movement as a religion to a religion. Many people in institutions obey the rules as a fear of getting prosecuted. Similar, again, not a part of, not a consequence of a religion. The woke treat people with other opinions as witches. So they literally almost sacrifice them, cancel them, similar to what religion has done in the past. As a religion, any other opinions are strongly opposed with no regard to truth or facts necessarily, just silence or any other means to a oppose the opinions. Affirmative action causes those who are admitted to fail exams as they're not prepared. So that's one consequence of affirmative action. So there is, it's not all good. One bad part of affirmative action is that whoever comes through that system often fails the exam. To say that physics is racist is to misunderstand the causes why people are not being represented among physics departments. Universities can do very little to combat poverty. So to say that the physics itself is racism is to misunderstand what is the causes in the first place. So he, you think the causes are poverty and universities have very little to do with poverty. And therefore to say that the physics itself is racist is wrong. We need to normalize vocational training and not going to a four-year university. They said, well, there's a, that's a, not a big issue that only going to a four-year university is, is the only way forward, even though there's vocational training and many other jobs in areas that are very good for people, high earners, and they can make good money of it, and they're respectful, respectable. I note, some of the solutions proposed seem to be overly optimistic. So he has some solution what to do instead, how to combat racism and poverty and things like that. Some of them are a little too optimistic. One way to stand up for this movement is getting used to be called racist. It's just, you know, we shouldn't care about it because that's their weapon in a way. So one way to disarm them is to not care about it. Separation between church and state should also include the woke religion. So there should, there should also be a difference in a separation. And the last one, it's important to remember that some people survived the attacks on them even as they stood their ground. So we always hear about those who got canceled and their life ultimately uh, changed drastically. However, we should also remember that there are many other people who did perfectly fine and nothing happened, even as they didn't retreat or retract their statements. So that is for the notes. Again, I would highly recommend four out of five, maybe even a high four. Good writing, short, straight to the point, and some very good criticism of the movement. Thank you.